<laughs> in the land of grills. That's right. We got the new Spider Grills Huntsman out here doing a cook on it today, folks. I tell you what, we've got some stuffed pork loin, pork tenderloin, wrapped in bacon, 225, dialed in perfectly. Let's just take a quick look here. Yeah, that's what we're doing right there. Want to see how I made it? Let's take a look how I made it. Keep on going on the Spider Grill Huntsman. All right, first we start with our pork tenderloin. This one was just a little bit bigger than three quarters of a pound. Pounded it thin in between two pieces of uh, of uh, plastic wrap. And then we just got it right here. I put a little bit, you know how I love the Zangs. Garlic infused stir fry oil. And then you can use uh, whatever you want. I'm using this Uncle Steve shake. This is the, the spicy R. And now here's the fun part. You just go in the fridge, you get what you want. I thought I had some ham. I don't have any ham, but I got pepperoni. I got some breakfast sausage. And uh, I did buy some of this stuff. And uh, it's called, what's it called here? Pico de Gallo. And uh, it's got a really good smell. It's got onions, it's got a whole bunch of stuff in there. And we're just gonna layer this in there. Then we're gonna roll it right up. And then we're gonna do bacon weave on the grill. Right, so for the sure. wrapping part, I, I use my uh, paper here, my plastic wrap to get things started. And uh, just gonna wanna get, I want these sausages to kind of be in the middle. So I don't, so I'm starting them way here. And then we're just going to, hope you can see this. I'm just gonna roll this up now. If anything squeezes out, while you're doing this, it's just telling you I don't want to be in there. So <laughs> that's what we would do. That's what we are doing. And there you go. Now we're going to do our bacon weave right on top of the plastic. Then we'll pick this up, put on top of the bacon weave, wrap it on the grill, go. Remember if I can do it, so can you. All right, bacon wrap's all ready to go. Remember if I can do it, so can you. Put a little bit more seasoning on the bacon that'll be on the uh, pork side. And then I just use a plastic wrap here to get things started. And just uh, continue like that. It ain't pretty, but it's gonna be delicious. Get it on the grill. All right, about two hours into it, I went for a walk and I was thinking on the walk that I made a mistake here. Now on the uh, Huntsman, there's two spots where you can put the uh, ambient temperature probe. And I have it mounted in the back. Now you saw I put all the charcoal in the back. So what I should have done is I should have put it over here. So this screw comes up and you put the ambient air temperature in there, sets it right below the grate. In fact, I think I might move that permanently there because the majority of the time when you're cooking, your meat has a tendency to be toward the front of the grill anyway. So let's uh, see if I can, I've been working on opening this up one-handed. Push down, yeah, down like that. Watch this, just one finger. Very nice. Looking good, got some good smoke rolling there. Keep on going here. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess I could try and swap that out right now, but uh, we're browning up real nice. I might just let it go for the rest of it. Lessons learned. Let's turn it up to 300 degrees. Nice smoke rolling even at 300 degrees. Nicely done. All right, folks, we got the spider set at 300. See, we're at 305. Doing a good job. He, uh, just a shy there. Remember, that's because I should have moved the pro port over to there, but I did not. Let's just take a look, see. Oh, man. Well, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me, uh, <laughs> I'll take an internal, but I know this is gonna be done. When the bacon's done, usually it's done. So we'll take that off, give you a look-see. Gonna be delicious. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. It, the smell is phenomenal. Take a taste test here. Oh wow. <laughs> Words can't describe. Even the tomatoes, I'm not a big tomato fan, but those are good in there. Wow. Smoke, taste the smoke. Husband did a phenomenal job and uh, held the moisture in really well. We took this up to about 160-ish, uh, a little shy maybe, but uh, it, it just, uh, so good. Tom Horseman YouTube, check out the Huntsman. I'll leave the link down below, folks. Uh, uh, you can get, uh, get a discount uh, if you use Horseman. When you check out, they're gonna send you a free battery when you buy yourself a Huntsman. Tom Horseman, YouTube. Don't forget about me also. Thanks for watching, folks.